Holocene. What is the Holocene epoch? Let's in this video explore what we call Holocene, when it started, how scientists differentiate this period, what does it mean for the climate and glaciations on our planet, and what does it mean to us humans. To start talk about recent events on our planet, well, recent in geological terms, about the last 20,000 years, we need to understand the definitions and time frames. It's easy to get confused in epoch, periods, times, glaciers, what's happening, when and why, and understand what's happened with the life on this planet. Therefore, I decided to make a short video about this epoch and to place it into the context of the climate change, glaciations on our planet, and the history of us humans. So the Holocene literally means holo, from Greek world whole, and a scene, meaning new. Therefore, it's the whole new period, entirely new epoch, which we're living in. And apparently this period is still continuous right now, although some scientists start differentiate Anthropocene, more recent epoch of induced human impact on the planet, they differentiated for last 200 or maybe just last 100 years, by affecting the climate, by diversity of our planet and so on. However, it's not certain yet, and for geological understanding we are still in the Holocene. The Holocene epoch is the recent geological epoch, and it began approximately 11,500 years ago, after the last glacial period, when it's peaked and the glaciation started, it continues till present times. In my previous video about LGM, last glacial maximum, I talked about that and you can refer to it to understand a little bit more. But in general, Holocene is preceding Pleistocene, it's the little bit longer period, together which form the quaternary period in our geological time scale. More strictly, Holocene identified with recent marine isotope stage 1, which is the current warm period. However, it doesn't mean it was warm throughout that old period, it's just in general this old period categorized as in-between glaciations, interglacial period, and it means that the climate is supposedly warming on the planet. It doesn't mean the glaciers disappear forever, for example, the Antarctica is still is the ice cap mostly intact. We can say that we're still living in the times of glaciations. Let's look on a bigger scale to understand about the Holocene, why we differentiated and specifically since that time, from 11,650 years before present being precisely. So if you look at our geological time scale, you can see that quaternary is the times of glaciations. Geologists consider the last glacial period times it's the time when last time the glaciers occupy our Earth, and it started about 150,000 years ago till recent times, about 11,000 years ago. The glaciers were coming on the Earth, covering more land and then retreating again repeatedly, many, many, many times, and were called quaternary glaciation. Quaternary glaciation considered to start at about 2.58 million years ago, specifically when the Arctic ice cap formed. However, we know that Antarctic ice sheet was already existing and it started about 34 million years before now. That's for quaternary period is more recent and only covers the last two and a half million years. But the both ice caps on Arctic and Antarctic were existing and they're still there and altering the climate of the planet. During all these periods of cooling events and the warming in between, the face of our Earth changed all the time, and the last time the maximum glaciation was peaked about 22,000 years ago. This last glaciation started about 35,000 years and started finishing about 18,000 years ago, when the glaciers start rapidly melting, dramatically melting. However, it's not just start melting and never stopped warming on our planet. There was a cooler events and they're repeatedly affecting our planet. However, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. So the two bigger ones that happened in the last 
18,000 years since the last glacial maximum happened, considered to be Young Dryas around 12.8 southern years ago, and more recent, the Little Ice Age. I have video about Little Ice Age. Please check it out. Therefore, the Holocene, considered to be epoch since the Younger Dryas, the more recent big cooling event finished, in the general deglaciation started, which scientists agreed to be about 11,650 years ago. Let's briefly talk about this Younger Dryas. What is this? Younger Dryas is the event of cooling on our planet when the glaciers start to kind of grow back since the last glacial maximum. It's called Younger Dryas State after the mountain ovens Dryas octopetala, which were growing in southern Scandinavia at that time. This interval saw large cooling over Greenland, widespread growth of eye caps in glaciers in the British Isles, a major ice sheet red advance in Scandinavia, and smaller glacier advances in other parts of the world. The timing of this event is inconsistent with orbital forcing, so there must be something else responsible for it. There is a lot of debates among scientists still. What is the main reason this happened? One possibility is that Younger Dryas cooling was triggered when drainage of the huge proglacial lake Agassiz disrupted the thermohaline circulation in the North Atlantic. Therefore, the heat from the South Ocean's pole waters was disrupted and the circulation changed in the ocean, North Atlantic specifically, and we observe this pronounced cooling event in the Northern Hemisphere. Some suggesting mismatches between the onset of cooling and the chronology of the leg drainage, and many adapt this idea. Some other mechanism being proposed, and many scientists suggested there was an impact as well, of course. Whatever the reasons of this event, and we can talk about this in the next video, it's commenced about 11 half thousand years ago, and we see the evidence all over the glaciated areas on our planet, even in Southern Hemisphere and glaciers like in New Zealand, that this event happened globally. Therefore, the Holocene for geologists accounted to start it from then. And it's also the time when the humans, us, accelerated dramatically our uh, development and the civilization start growing on our planet. And for this last 11.7 thousand years, we can differentiate three main stages. These ages were based on the climate events, and so we differentiate something about 11.7 till 8.2 southern years period, which was characterized by warming following the preceding ice age, so following the Younger Dryas. Next stage was from 8.2 southern till 4.2 southern years ago, and we know it's as a fast cooling due to disruption of ocean circulation because there was so much melting glaciers and there was so much water coming into the ocean. And we know that the water coming from the land, from the glaciers, are fresh water in comparison with saline water in the ocean. And it has different temperature and density, so there will be some disruption in world ocean circulation. And the recent epoch started 4.2 southern years ago, and it started with extreme drought, that lasted about 200 years. Because it's more recent, we have more information for that period and there's so many differentiations within that time. Let's look on the human development. The Holocene is the time of rapid impact of human species on our planet. The development of major civilization happened during that time, People develop writing, technological revolution happened, and people start living in cities. Urbanization happened. And we can differentiate the effect of human activity on our planet. Lithospheric effect, so how we changing our earth ground. Atmospheric changes, what we throw out into the atmosphere. 
the biological changes, how we adapting animals, how we developing new species of animals and plants, how we cause the extinct of many animals and plants. Many suggested that deglaciation caused this spike in human development. Actually, the last glacial maximum caused spike in development of humans because we had to adapt to this cold, harsh climate. And since then, when deglaciation happened, this development continued and spiked till modern times, at the peak of which we start conquering the space. So the Holocene corresponds to the beginning of Mesolithic age in Europe, the time the first settlements were developed and there was the seeds of first civilization. The time the mystication of plants and animals allowed human civilization to develop villages and towns. Thus, from 10,000 years ago till 7,000 years ago, there was a rapid domestication of plants and animals, and it was happening around tropical, subtropical areas of Asia, Africa, and Central America. The farming started developing, and that's, as we know, caused the start of writing. The climate at the time was perfect in those tropical, subtropical areas on our planet for farming, domestication of animals. For example, right now, some of those areas become too harsh, too dry or too hot. Therefore, we can say that Holocene is the recent epoch in which we are living in. We can see that the rapidly changing climate, the deglaciation, the retreat of the main glaciations of the time, changes of humidity on the planet, created a perfect condition for development of our civilizations. We talk about time aspects of that period and its effect on humans in the future videos. Please subscribe to my channel, share it with everyone who might be interested, and I will see you in the next videos.